Hello everyone, in this lecture we are going to learn about, Annex A, of API 650. Our flagship courses are, Master Static Equipment Design, and PVE Lite, ASME Section 8 Division 2, and Master Welded Storage Tank, as per API 650. We have curated courses to suit your learning needs, so do visit our learning platform for more details on scootoid.thinkific.com. So now we'll uh, see Annexure A, which is kind of optional design of small tank. Okay. Now the small uh, term here may be a little bit uh, disguising uh, because it's not only the small tank, but even bigger tanks also you can design. Okay. The only limit for this Annexure is the thickness. Size is not the limit, but the thickness is limit. And because thickness is limited, automatically your size becomes limited. Okay. Makes sense. So when you're using an extra A, you cannot have thickness more than 13 mm. Okay. And this an extra will be applicable only when it is decided by the purchaser. The purchaser is saying that follow this an extra then only you'll be following it okay makes sense if anchorage is required we have a certain calculation which you have to do i'll show you that so this is the tank anchorage okay. so if uh, like whatever bolt we are selecting based on that considering the different cases we have to consider the or calculate the uplift so that needs to be done. Now the second uh, important part, this annexure is applicable when the purchaser is limiting the design metal temperature above minus 30. You cannot use it less than minus 30. Okay. When you're having fine grade, then you can go up to minus 40. Okay. Now the selection of this uh, time for tanks is very uh, simple. Uh, so just to give you an information that when API started, the annexure A was the real standard. It started with this, okay, and then other things kept on adding, and uh, finally it became an annexure. Okay, so it was like you know if you're having a shell course, if you're using one thousand eight hundred mm shell course, then based on the tank diameter. See what is the capacity you want, okay. and then you'll be able to get the height of the tank. Getting it? So if let us see, I have 1,800 plate width I want to use, and in our case, okay, like the case we designed, our diameter was 13. Okay, so 13 is not available, so I can go with 13.5. Okay, so what capacity I'll be having? 143 per meter of height. Okay. So like if I'm selecting a 17 meter, again, 17 meter is not in standards. So if I'm selecting 18 meter, then the capacity which I'll be having is 2576. Making sense? That's how we'll be doing the selection. If I want to follow this annexure A. So you'll be taking the standard. You cannot select anything. Okay, You have to go with the dimensions which are mentioned here now if you have 2.4 meter width this is usc if you have 2.4 meter shell courses in that case you'll be using the second table which is table 8.2a okay and by using that you can calculate the select the sizes based on whatever capacity you need okay so it's simple, you know, just selection based on the capacity, how it's calculated, the formula you can see here. Okay. So design, whatever, if uh, like if I'm calculating the thickness, the thickness calculation will be based on what? Using the same equation, which you have used, uh, but you'll be using the allowable stress as 145 that is the maximum allowable stress which you can use 
whatever material you are selecting, it's immaterial. You will not be getting any advantage of high strength material. Okay, so allowable is fixed. Okay. Even the join factor. Now, see, uh, till now in the code, there was no joint efficiency, right? Whatever calculation we did, have we considered joint efficiency for the tanks? Okay, no. Then how you are taking care of that? Like how uh, the strength of weld is considered that if you are not considering joint efficiency? In the design formula which <clears throat> we have used for the shell design, okay? there is no joint efficiency. So how we are taking care of the joint efficiency? Basically, you are saying that full RT will become applicable. And we have not seen anywhere it is saying that full radiography. Okay. Now, if you see the examination part, okay. Many people get confused that how it is considered. Okay. So basically, what it is saying, obviously, one is considered as joint efficiency, but how one is considered is by defining the radiography examination. Okay. The extent of ND you are fixing. There is no flexibility or choice in that. You have to do radiography, not full, but proper definition is there. You know, like this is the long seam, there will be one spot radiography. Okay. Or uh, like based on the length, you can see in here also vertical spot radiography okay, for first three meter and then every 30 meter one spot. Okay. So, like that. For every sim, there is a radiography requirement mentioned. Okay. And if you are fulfilling that, it is considered that the formula is good enough for you. Making sense? So that is the reason there is no radiography just coming into play for the normal design. Okay. Yes. So efficiency is not coming into play because there is a certain radiography which is already considered. So you can consider that it's considered as one okay by meeting that extent of radiograph there is no relaxation in that but when i'm using an mixture a then there is a different formula same formula but only the joint efficiency will be added you can see it's exactly same formula or you can see the joint efficiency coming into place here S value, you don't have any option. You have to select 145. Okay. For all the cases. Now, what is the advantage of using annexure A? Now, with this logic, can you tell me? Okay. Now there is one more statement. Just read this. The joint efficiency factor 0.85 with the spot radiography, but by the agreement between purchaser and manufacturer. Even the spot radiography may be omitted. And you can take the joint efficiency factor as 7.7. 7, that you can do the calculation. So are you getting what advantage is given here? Did you get it? Why this? What is the role of an X-ray? Why we refer that? We refer an extra A when we don't want to do radiography. Okay. So we'll take joint efficiency 0.7. My thickness will be a little bit high. But see, these are very big tanks we are talking about, storage tanks. Even the spot radiography will take a very long time because too many wells are there. Okay. So radiography, uh, conducting radiography itself may become challenging. So if you want to omit that requirement in the general design, there is that is not possible. You have to perform radiography. So if you go to optional design and take efficiency as 0.7, you can avoid that. Making sense? So that is a use case, you know, which I'm telling you is a use case of this annexure when we use. Okay. So by using this annexure, you can avoid the radiography requirement okay 
so intermediate wind girders mostly you know uh, are not required because we are considering only smaller tanks okay so but you have to confirm from get the confirmation from the purchaser shell and manhole nozzles will be following the same guideline what you do for the normal design practice okay so all of these these things just follow the same principle okay for in depth training and to learn more about these courses register with the link in the description